That, that was stupid. Anyways, guys, welcome to an episode of Viper Gini TV. And today I've got gas. I mean, okay, this, this is a stupid joke. But anyways, uh, the house I just bought, it didn't have a gas line to it. It was on an oil furnace. So yeah, they installed a brand new gas meter today all the way from the road. They dug it up. But anyways, let's get into today's vlog. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's uh, pause the vlog right here for just a second and uh, hit that subscription button. I'm not gonna ask for a like yet because you haven't watched this video, but uh, at least hit the subscription button. Show me some love. Is that, what, is that what they call it? Show me some love? Just show me that I'm doing a good job. It's not about my gas issues. It's about today with Uncle Jesse and his Mercia Lago. We're gonna go through uh, the new parts he's got because remember a couple of videos back, I'm gonna put a link in the description. Uh, we took the engine out of his Mercia Lago and today here are the replacement parts. Here, here's a cold start. If you guys are interested in cold start, I'm never interested in a cold start on any vehicle that any vlogger does in a video, but some people are, so this is, this is for you. Is that exciting? Could be. Look at that. 94,299 kilometers. Uh, what I want you to do, is I challenge anybody that watches this vlog, comment below if you know of a YouTuber or even another Lamborghini Gallardo with that many kilometers on it, I, I wanna check it out. So it's a pretty crappy day here in Barrie. Uh, I, I wish I lived somewhere hot. Q, Quentin, I need to live in Texas. You don't have to deal with this shit, do ya? That guy's been giving me the uh, this sign. I don't even know what that sign is. But that guy has been, that guy in that Toyota has been giving it to me. Because it's actually weird when off camera, when I'm just sitting here thinking about what to say in my vlogs, I, uh, you know, I come up with all kinds of stuff. And then when I turn the camera on, it's like, where did all that shit go that I was going to say? All right, just arrived at Jesse's house to see what he has going on and what he bought from Grand Touring today. What are you looking at? You're looking at the wrap, aren't you? looking at the lettering, yeah. Yeah, it looks sick. Good. I didn't even do the re reveal yet on my car though, so I can't, I can't show the tens and tens of viewers of mine <laughs> my, my new wrap yet. So Jesse uh, went and spent $1,515 on, on stuff. Let's, let's see what you got. Ah, there, there's one of those. How much are those? Uh, about 50 bucks a piece. Uh. Let's see, okay, so the oil filter, $55.95 each, times two. What's that? OEM, oil, uh, sorry, OEM fuel filters. So, $132 each fuel filter. $170 serpentine belt. Serpentine belt, I gotta get the exact price here. I don't even see it on here. Oh, there it is, $172.50. The <laughs> spring for the shifter that broke. Oh, okay. Um, that was expensive too for a spring. It was like, oh, I think $165. Is it right? Uh, let's see here. Bearing, O-ring, seal, retaining. No, it's... You'll say spring. Oh, right there. $200. Oh, uh, $202. <laughs> yeah, for a spring. <laughs> okay, moving on. This is the boot the sh for the shifter boot. Mine was cracked. That was expensive too. Was um, $220. Cap, is it called? Yeah, it's called a cap. Cap, $252 for, the, for that. For okay. a rubber boot. All right, sounds good so far. We've got an axle seal. That wasn't too bad. How much is an axle seal, uh, axle seal? I think it was like 40 or $50. Oh, the seal, $56.70. Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> These are the retaining plates to lock the flywheel bolts. They were $40 each. 40 bucks each? Yep. And how many do you have in there? Four. <laughs> $160 for those. Yeah. All right, moving on. That was cheap. I think this is the cheapest thing. This is about $2. Uh, Four dollars, no. Oh, uh, Seeger, are they Seeger? Yeah, that's what they call it. $1.70 for that. Oh, wow. There we go. <laughs> Just an O-ring for the O-ring. Oh, the O-ring for the water pump. Yeah, that's a thirty. That cheap. Oh, that's the four-dollar one. Yeah. Show me the other O-ring. This is for O-ring for the axle seal. Oh, uh, that one's thirty dollars and ten cents. Ooh. Yeah, that one. That one hurt a little bit. That one. Yeah. That one. Uh, you're gonna miss dinner tonight for. 
And this was cheap. This was like $25. It's a pilot bearing. It goes in there. Yeah. All right, what else you got in there? Oh, this the, what's the bottom box? This came in from siliconehoses.com. Yeah. It's all brand new hoses for the... But they made them specific for this car? No, I just ordered lengths and then I cut them to, as I need, but it's enough to do everything in the car, all brand new. Oh, look, you got one. You got yeah. that one. On yeah, that's the one that blows too. This one blows and I also have a covering for over top of it. That one has a lot in common with Jesse. All right. So what are you gonna start putting this stuff on? Or we just we just unboxing today. Unboxing. I'm okay with just unboxing today. Yeah, you, you can have a beer. Yeah, yeah. You bring that over here. Actually, this vlog doesn't have anything to really do with any mechanical stuff. It's more so just the unboxing of Jesse's big box of fifteen hundred dollars worth of uh, stuff. So Jesse and I are gonna have a Friday afternoon beer, and uh, I would like to thank you guys for watching this quick little video. Subscribe if you like this kind of car enthusiasm. What's that? Foolishness. Foolishness. That's a good, uh, good way to put it. And we'll see you on the next one.